Rock in southwest Washington State on the Long Beach Peninsula. I'm currently in a concrete bunker uh, left over from World War II. There used to be a bunch of forts around here. Now that all that's left is these uh, concrete structures. Um, but since COVID, I've been uh, trying to get back into shape since I was eating a lot of junk food at first. So I've been riding my bike every day up here to this uh, fort and to the uh, lighthouse over here. So I was going to show you guys my bike ride today from Long Beach, Washington to Cape Disappointment State Park. So I hope you guys enjoy. Although, not right now during COVID. Get up, go get it now, don't stop. You gotta keep on pushing till you reach the top. Stay in perpetual motion, perpetual motion, perpetual motion. Now don't stop. Get up, go get it now, don't stop. You gotta keep on pushing till you reach the top. Stay in perpetual motion, perpetual motion, perpetual motion. Now, now what's an idea if you don't take action? That's doing nothing, expecting something to happen. That's breaking the law of action and reaction. Like hoping for happiness from a happy accident. It's like practicing without any passion. A floating is a battle on a ship without a cap. Loose lips do nothing but lose ships and there's no need for talking if you're really gonna do it Time's precious, you don't really wanna lose it But it can slip away quickly from your loose grip You wanna stay afloat, might have to rock a boat Step on some alligators to make it across the moat Through the king's castle, nothing without an asshole But when you reach the top, I guess it really won't matter So this is the Long Beach Peninsula It goes up about 20 miles or so up there It's the Long Skinny Peninsula with Willapaw Bay on the other side The Pacific Ocean over here on this side This is uh, right on the uh, edge of the Columbia River right over here. So there's a bunch of forts, military forts over here. One of the forts was actually attacked by a Japanese submarine in World War II. Oh, there's another bunker down here. Didn't even know this one was down here. Cool. It's just solid concrete. Oh, there's a third one down here. Cool. Oh, okay. Here's the door right here. It's kind of creepy. So during World War II, this area was kind of an important place to guard um, from attack because the uh, Pacific Ocean is right out here, which you can't see because of the glare. And then the Columbia River is right up here and there's a lot of shipping that goes in and out and it goes inland to the US. So uh, they had to guard it. So there's three different forts around here. There's one actual fort that's from uh, the Civil War period actually on the Oregon side, um, but there's two on the Washington side, Fort Columbia and Fort Canby. And there's a lot of remnants still remaining. This uh, station right here was like kind of a weather watching station. They had like a weather radar. They also had radar to uh, detect ships out in the ocean, like if an enemy ship was coming in. Um, they also had searchlights so that they could spot them. But they've, uh, after the war, they took everything off of here. And now it's just the concrete bunker. All of these trees would have been gone. It's kind of creepy, but uh, some good history. Ships and there's no need for talking if you're really gonna do it. Time's precious, you don't really wanna lose it. But it can slip away quickly from your loose grip. You wanna stay afloat, might have to rock a boat. Step on some alligators to make it across the moat. Through the king's castle, nothing without a hassle. But when you reach the top, I guess it really won't matter. As long as you follow the calling that you hear, because there's nothing in the world that can stop you if you don't fear it now. now get up, go get it now, don't stop. You gotta keep on pushing till you reach the top. Stay in perpetual motion, perpetual motion, perpetual motion. Now don't stop. Get up, go get it now, don't stop. So the lighthouse is up there, and the trail that I was on with the overlook. Decided to come back down into a little gully over there and back through here. 
yeah, maybe eight or so miles back to town. So this thing's like a tree root. And then they carved it into some dolphins. Some more wood carvings. Please keep off the whales. I think they're supposed to be gray whales. And then there's a skeleton over here. This is like a uh, gray whale skull, I guess. And the spine. 